Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my playthrough of the game Doom 64. It is Bricklayer. I'm here, and today we're going to be continuing where we left off with the sixth level of the game, Alpha Quadrant. We start off in this small little room right here. And we can go through here, and there will be a Hell Knight up here. You can pick up this shotgun, and imps will spawn, and another Hell Knight. Then there'll be some Kako demons, one over here, and another on the other side. And then we want to go over here, up this elevator, where there'll be a bunch of shotgun guys, or soldier guys actually, not shotgun guys. There's where the shotgun guys are. It's gonna be some that spawn behind us as well. So let's go ahead and go over here and activate this switch. Then we can go over here and activate this switch, which will spawn some Hell Knights. And killing them will trigger a couple of doorways and some items right here. A backpack over here. And a yellow key card over here, which we will need. There'll be some lost souls that spawn back in this room. I mean, once you go this way and go up this elevator, there'll be a couple imps over here. And there's this button right here. If we didn't, if we didn't have the yellow key, then this would do nothing. So since we have the yellow key, we can activate it now. And it will raise this bridge, but there's this obstacle on our way. But, once we activate that switch, this doorway will open, which will activate that switch, which will permanently move that obstacle out of our way. So let's go backtrack here. And let me tell you how this whole thing is going to work real quick, okay? So we're going to press that button, and it's going to raise that bridge, right? And that will lead to that switch. Once we activate that switch, it'll raise the bridge to go in another direction, I believe over that way. But it will only do so for a limited amount of time. And there's another switch over there, which will lead to the bridge leading that way. And there's a very narrow window of how much time you have to um, sprint from one area to the next. So I'm gonna quick save it and let's try doing this. Can't activate just yet. All right, run. Let's see, look at how close I was to not making it. And there's our first actual Baron of Howl. They're significant, um, they're easier to see a difference in this game, not just because of uh, the, the coloring of themselves, but also their plasmas. They're actually different colors based on whether they're knights or barons now. All right, so let's go up here and kill these specters real quick. There's several of them. Oh, that was a double kill. Nice. So there's Mega Armor over here and a blue key card over here, but we don't have means of accessing them just yet. First thing we want to do is go activate that switch that we see over there. So we walk on this raising platform, sprint over here, and activate and we'll open that doorway, which has some Barons of Hell. I think just one Baron of Hell and two Hell Knights. Oof. <clears throat> well, that was kind of dumb of me. Um, let me try that again. 
Gotta run through this again. Uh, there we go. Kill the specters again. Quick save now, so I don't have to deal with that again. Activate the switch. Take so many bullets. There we go. So the Hell Knights over here. Be very careful approaching this area. Try not to go too far in for now. <clears throat> There we go. Oh, there's our there's a rune master. If it weren't for the secret level, that would have been our first rune master. We're not gonna pick up that med kit yet. Uh, yes, we are actually. I forgot that we're blocked into this place for now. So yeah, we're gonna pick up this med kit, but in doing so, it'll drop us down to the bottom of the floor where a bunch of spectres will spawn. And some of them will spawn progressively, so you'll see a few different waves of them. Oh, and there was a Berserk power-up over there. Is there? A, there we go. Wherever. There we go. Okay, that's completely cleared out. There's some ammo pickups you can find over here, although they can be really hard to see because of how dark it is. And now what we want to do is get back up, and the way we do that is through here. You might notice how there's like a shadow looking staircase right here. So we want to progressively go up here and sort of zigzag our way back up here. Then we go back up here, and then we want to run over and activate that switch. I'm going to go and backtrack to the beginning. And the main thing we want to do is activate that button over there. You might, you might, you might not see it fully, but I'm looking right at it. It's down there. And the main way we want to get down there is by running to that second platform and very quickly trying to fall down there. So let's do that real quick. Or not because it's a pretty tricky jump to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's one main issue with Doom 64 is that there's a decent amount of platforming puzzles like this. There we go. I'm gonna quick save it so I don't have to do that again. Especially because what's gonna happen when we push that button is it's going to temporarily open that door right there. Emphasis on temporarily. Oh, and there's also specters over there which we can shoot ahead of time. And if we fall down, the odds are we probably got to go back up here again. So let's be very careful about this. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, uh, okay, I made it. 
supercharge right there. Button we can press. Now we can go back to those teleporters and that doorway will be open. And we can go up to where we saw the, uh, oh, I preemptively sprinted up here. It's not. All right. And now we'll notice that the mega armor and the blue key card are both open. And there's a ammo pickup right there, which I'm going to go ahead and take because we're not going to be coming back here. And I'm low on bullets anyways. So now you can go over here to the blue door. There'll be a Hell Baron and some Hell Knights. And here's the exit of the level. Leading us into the next level, Research Lab. So we spawn in this area. As you can see, there's three different caged areas right here. That one has our first plasma gun. That one has a yellow key card. And that one has a red key card. So we'll keep that in mind. And we'll open up this door. We can go through here where there'll be some shotgun guys. Then we want to go through this door right here with some health bonuses. And once we get past a certain point, a bunch of lost souls, a crap ton, I mean like 10, are going to spawn here. Done and taken care of. There's also a spectre right there. And there's the blue key card, but we have no means of reaching it yet. So let's go ahead and go in here where there's four cages with an imp in each of them. Jails. Open these doors and it'll bring us to this maze area with a bunch of shotgun guys. Go ahead and clear them out. I'm not fully well aware of what this switch does. I think it activates a secret area somewhere, albeit briefly. But anyway, right now what we want to do is look for a specific room with a switch and I believe it's actually in here. Yep, it's this one right here. We can actually access this camera right here and it shows us the room where the blue key card is. And when we press that button and look at the camera again, we can see that it raised a bridge to the blue key card. Nice. So let's backtrack over there. Let me look at my map. There we go. A Hell Knight will spawn over here. We can pick up the blue key card right here, and if we wait a moment, a mega charge will, a supercharge, I mean, will spawn right there. Going to quick save it. Go through this blue door, and here we can find our plasma gun. It's the first time we can find it in the game, although it's kind of made redundant due to the fact that we have the. Uh, The Unmaker, I remember what it's called now, because they both take the same type of ammo. Well, actually, I'm kind of curious now. Maybe it does? I want to check. I never really got to use the plasma kind of much in this game because of the Unmaker. Yeah, the Unmaker is definitely superior. Especially when you upgrade it because like I said they, um, they, um, they, they upgrade by demon keys and there's more than one demon key so you can upgrade this thing up to three times there's a bunch of switches right here but they require a red key card so we're going to ignore them for now 
Then we want to go through this teleporter, which will lead us back to this room. We can press this switch now. And we can backtrack to um, where we were before. And these bars are released now. That will lead us to the yellow key card. How did that not hit the imp? It must not have spawned in fully. Anyway, now we can go down here and we can see the exit level right there, but of course we can't reach it yet. First we should open, we gotta go through this yellow door. Kill all the enemies that spawn. We can go in this room real quick, might as well, because there's gonna be enemies spawning. It'll save us trouble later. And if we go up here, we can see that switch, but we can't reach it yet because there's bars blocking it. So what we wanna do is uh, go down these areas right here. Go ahead and go down both of them. So you can pick up all the health and armor bonuses. And this slime pool right here, we have to sprint through it. Yeah, we do. Now, I know that might seem kind of hard without taking damage, but you can actually run on these railings right here and prevent and be able to prevent yourself from taking damage. These bars will automatically open. And then we can then we can go in this corner right here and we'll find our first radiation shield. And then we want to go to the left, kill those lost souls, and activate this switch. And because we activated that switch, there's no bars blocking our way over here to this switch. Which will, A, open this area up. With some ammo and a stim pack. And B it will open up the bars to that one room I showed you earlier. Uh, oh no, that's not the right way. Where am I? Oh, there, there, there we go, this way. Yep, we can now press the button. And... Which way was it? Uh, Oh yeah, I was over here. Is um, what we did was just we just released these bars, which blocked our way to the red key card. So we can now use that to activate the switches up here. Either one of them will do, I think. I don't know if there's a difference. Nope, they both spawn the um, knight. And then we go back down here and we'll, we'll realize it will also have activated the exit door, which is blocked by a knight. So let's hit the button. And go to a final outpost. Once we hit this button, we'll be surrounded by um, zombie men. up all that ammo and you might notice that door that opened it won't open simply by approaching it you have to go to this specific area right here where you see that there isn't a light circle or if there is but it's dim that will lower the platform there will be a trap over here staircase will have some ammo We can press this switch right here, and it will spawn a bunch of nightmare imps to our left. That will lead us to this switch, which will lower that barricade we saw. There will be this long hallway right here, with nightmare imps.
to pick up the super shotgun and backtrack to where there will be more nightmare imps. And we'll notice that this teleporter is opened. There's a blue door right there, which we can't open yet, of course. So let's go through here, kill the lost souls to our right and the imp to our left. And go ahead and, why did I go back through the teleporter? Go ahead and pick up the blue key. You, you're gonna have to sprint your way to it. And you have to get back to the teleporter. Now to do that, we have to walk over this way. And walking over here will trigger the teleporter, allowing us to go back here. So I can open the blue door. And we already see the red key card, which we can't reach just yet. What we have to do is go through this maze looking corridor right here. And we'll find some switches like that one throughout it. If each time we activate those switches, it'll make the area a lot more open, but it will also spawn a decent amount of enemies. So let's make sure we're prepared for that. Uh, yeah, I'll use the chain gun. There'll be a lot of imps first. Some armor bonuses around here. Here's the second button, and I believe this one will spawn Hell Knights and a Baron. Nope, shotgun guys and a Baron. So now I believe we go over here. Yep. There'll be some rockets and stim packs over here. You can press that button and it will give us the red key and spawn a Hell Knight right next to us because of course. Now to get to the red key, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna press that elevator and well actually I'll go in here first and show you. See that thing right there? That's actually an elevator. And once we press that button I showed you earlier, it will it will temporarily activate that elevator. So what you gotta do is quickly press it and then run to the elevator. There we go. There'll be a Hell Knight there, which we can kill. And here will be the red door. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna clear this room out first before I show you what that button does. All right, it's clear. So we're gonna press this button and it will make the plasma gun disappear. And what that's gonna do is we can look at this camera right here and we'll see that the plasma gun is on top of a roof and it's constantly switching its position. We go over here and we'll see that there's now a bunch of buttons on these pillars. Here's how this is going to work. You can only press two of these buttons and the rest of them will have nothing and one of them will have the plasma gun. It's hard to tell immediately though where it's going to be. Like we'll see it's in the western corner but we don't know specifically where that will be here. So we can test this by pressing this button it did not have the plasma gun, so let's look at the camera again. So we can see it now that it's in the opposite direction, the eastern one, so it's actually this one. And that will give us a plasma gun. Nice. We can go in here where we'll see the yellow key, but we can't reach it. This puzzle will Hang on, hold that behind us. This puzzle is admittedly 
kind of dumb in my opinion because here's the way it works the yellow key is up there right so we can go over here and that button doesn't seem like it's going to do anything we'll approach this area though i will see that these bars will lower we press this button and it will lower the platform if we press this button it'll it'll bring the plat and bring the bars back up but if we go back here the bars are just going to go back down and it's going to result in a sort of dumb loop so what you're supposed to do is um, lower the platform go out here interact with that square right there well I believe it's slightly more complicated than that yeah I think the bars have to be raised yeah so interact with that and there we go that's kind of dumb but oh well we'll move on from that and here we'll find a megasphere which will spawn a baron that takes care of that and as we open this door we'll be brought to this area where there'll be a bunch of nightmare imps and as we walk through you see those platforms right there there's going to be barons and knights spawning all over them well barons around those and knights around this hallway looking area we see over here yep there they are oh boy uh... okay it goes the worst of the bunch, so let's just shoot away at these guys until they die. shotgun ammo uh, we got a lot of rockets might as well use them and once they're all dead the bridgeway to the exit will go up and we can go through the teleporter And that'll lead us to the next level even simpler, but first it'll read us some text, which, fun fact, is actually the only bit of text in the entire game that isn't a secret level or the epilogue. All right. You cackle as the familiarity of the situation occurs to you. The gateway to the demon's domain was too accessible. You realize the demons mock you with their invitation. It does not matter. The demons spawn like rats and you have the, the, the grade AAA UAC poison they crave. Your bloodthirsty scream shatters the teleport haze. Once again you find yourself amidst. We're back in hell boys. Alright, so it brings us to this pit over here with some shotgun ammo. And as soon as we hit this button... It'll um, it'll bring us up to reveal our first mancubi in the whole game, and this level might look quickly look pretty familiar to some of you, and well, that's because hence the name even simpler. It's um a throwback to the Doom Two level Dead Simple, I think it was called. Yeah. So we kill these guys. It'll spawn that staircase, and it'll spawn some caco demons and hollow knights. going to be a lot of different health pickups we can pick up. There's a mega sphere and mega arm in this level that you might have noticed. We're not going to pick them up just yet though. I'm going to try to save them until the level is over.
There'll be one last um, wave of enemies. It'll be Hel it'll be Barons and Rune Masters. But as you can see, there's an invincibility upgrade right there, which we definitely want. We'll use that to eradicate these guys with our rocket launcher. Okay, now that they're dead, let's switch to the... Well, no, we can still use the rocket launcher because we're invincible. And just run through and kill all the rune masters. Oh, our invincibility is about to run out. Whew. Okay. I believe there should be just an by left. Woo! That was close. Oh yeah, the lost souls. Uh, how are we doing on ammo? Uh, we got more shotgun ammo, percentile wise. Shit. Oh, there's still one more. And once all enemies are eliminated, the exit will pop up. Before we go through there, though, we should go ahead and feel free to pick up whatever other pickups we can throughout this level because there's a decent amount of them. We can actually go out here and we'll see even more pickups of ammo and stuff, but be careful because see those two things right there? They'll shoot out spikes at us once we get in their uh, line of sight. How did I miss that? We're full on shotgun ammo. No reason to. Oh, we're full on bullets too. Yeah, I think the only thing we're not full on is uh, rockets and energy. All right, that clears all that out, so. Which I don't think we can fill up on that with our current circumstances right now. Energy ammo is kind of sparse until we get the BFG, if I remember correctly. All right, so we are completely full on health and armor. So I say we go through the exit right now. I move on to the next level, the bleeding. We start off in this room right here. There's four different doorways, two of which are blocked off. So we can go through this one. There'll be some imps behind it. And a plasma gun. Some more imps will spawn over here. We'll go through here. More imps. And a lot of pinkies will spawn in the room we initially spawned in. So let's kill them. Pick up those backpacks and you'll see that one of the our doorways that were blocked off is now open to us. And uh, full on bullet ammo. I think there's, no not yet. There will be some enemies that will spawn there potentially. Couple of nightmare imps over here. And there's a secret right here where when we approach this hallway and walk away from it, it'll show us a mega armor. Obviously we don't need it right now because we're already completely full on health and armor. But we want to push both of these switches, which will reveal a staircase to us. The Hell Knight. And a button that will open um, the, open the doorway. We had open a way a pathway over here and spawn a bunch of enemies on both sides.
Yep, a lot of enemies to kill right here. Oh boy. Um, thought I heard something spawn over here, but I guess not. Oh, it's the Hollow Knight that was supposed to be on the other side. You all go ahead and kill him. Oh, there's two of them. Last man cubus. There we go. Pick up some ammo around here. A few lost souls will spot around this whole building. A lot of armor bonuses here. through this doorway right here. Go ahead and pick up those rockets. Press this button, obtain the yellow key, which we can use to open this door right here that's guarded by some specters. Even more specters in this room. see that gun right there that's the BFG we can't access it yet though first we have to go up here kill these barons that spawn yay push this button go through this teleporter look at that statue then we go over here and we can access the BFG now and two man cubi will spawn behind us which we can use to test it on go over here and push this button and that will actually go and open up the exit to the level, which is back where we spawned. But, on our way back, a crap ton of enemies will spawn. Definitely is the item maker. There's gonna be a few other enemies that have spawned around here. Might as well go ahead and I might as well go ahead and clear them out. Yep, I think that's all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that mega armor I was talking about earlier. Oh yeah, you gotta jump out. You can't activate that door from the inside. And behind the exit right here is a mega is, is a supercharge. Which I will gladly pick up. And now we can activate the exit to the level. And that, I believe, will be a good time to end the episode. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, be sure to give this video a like. And if you're interested in content like this, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Have a good day.